Hello. It is um, 9 12 p.m. on November the 5th of 2021. And they say that the supply chain is broken and it's only going to get worse. That's what they say. So um, I found a map is what I did. I found a map of all the ships that are on the water because I wanted to see for myself also uh, what was going on. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see what was going on. And um, we're going to look at that is what we're going to do. We're going to look at the um, supply chain and um, see what they're saying. Hello. Yes. Hello, everyone. Shalom. Yes. Good. Good evening. Good evening, you all. Let me, I'm going to put this phone down sideways so I can see your all's comments right here. Um, so we, I found this cool map right here. I don't know if you all have found this map before, but it's really cool. Can you all hear me? Um, hello. Um, yeah, let's, let's make sure you all can hear me. I got to wait. King of Hookamundo. Hola. Yeah. Um, hello, you all can hear me. That's great. That's wonderful. Perfect. It's absolutely perfect that you can hear me. So I was wondering, what am I going to share tonight? Because I really don't ever know what I'm going to share. I don't. But I was led to this. The supply chain. So the supply chain, they say, is broken. Is it too loud? We don't want to be too loud, you all. <laughs> we do not. We do not want to be too loud. Okay, I think we've got it right here. Um, that That's great. That's great. It, it really is great. So let's come over here. Look at this, you all. So we're on this page. Look at this. The supply lines. Labor shortages are about to jump from the shore to the cargo ship. Oh, my gosh, you all. I am sorry, but I can't help but laugh at that headline right there. Labor shortages are about to jump from shore <laughs> to the cargo ships. Oh my gosh, you all. That, that is the headlines they come up with, but that's okay. That's all right, you all. You've got to be able to laugh through the hard times. You really do. Laugh through some of these articles. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, you all. So it says the, the supply crunch has dogged the global shipping industry and it could worsen before it gets better. So they got um, crew retention and wage inflations and all of that. They got a chain supply chain crisis risk taking tanking the fragile world economy. Really? Um... I thought we heard a video today that um, if we could stop global economic growth, we could stop you-know-what. That's what I heard. That was from 2018. So we have this article, A Change Crisis Risks Tanking a Fragile World Economy. Hmm. They mean the whole world look it's um for certain types of ships it may become very difficult to actually find the crew and you may get delays because of that that's conceivable it's never been the case before okay so we we see that okay that's fine that's fine and dandy look at this now this is the live webcam um this is uh, the port of miami i just want to show you a little bit of what this looks like right here I don't think they got any music on it but it, it looks a little bit crowded it really does you can see this great big ship it's moving oh, it's moving backwards before it was moving forward so I don't know what's going on with it but you can see all these these piles of cargo this this is what goes on the back of semis this is what goes on the back of bang bang muck -a bang hello this is what goes on back of um, the railroad cars right here they also do this by train they do it by boat 
And, you know, where would they load their cargo from here, really, if you think about it? Where would they load it? Because this looks pretty crowded right here. If they were to, you know, come to the ports um, that unload the cargo. Um, hello. That's right. Bang, bang, muck -a bang um, Well, we're going to see something, too. Um now we got to be careful in our comments because we don't we don't want our comments uh, flagged by the algorithm. You really don't. Um, so look at that, you all. This is the port of Miami, right here. Doesn't look like any cranes are are, are doing anything. I actually heard that there was really nowhere to move anything. Where are they going to move them to? Uh, and there weren't enough trucks. We got one truck right here. It's not like you got a whole bunch of trucks sitting around uh, to get all this cargo and or boats coming in either. So it's it's not like you got any of that going on right now. Well, they I guess they would, but they can't. But this is really cool, you all. So look at this. So um, I want to take you to this right here. Look at this. So yes, I'm still here. So we got this um, marine traffic map right here. Hello. Yeah, grocery steer. Oh, you know what I heard? Bang, bang, muck -a bang What I heard, I read this a long, long time ago. The grocery stores, your local grocery stores, only have maybe one and a half to two, two and a half days worth of supply in their warehouses. When that's gone, it's gone. That's, that's what I heard uh a while back and uh if they ain't got it they're going to substitute it and when they can no longer substitute the products for other brands then you ain't getting it at all you're just not getting it you're going to have to do without um so yeah king of hookah mundo yes um <laughs> wood booger come on now so we've got this uh look at this this is pretty cool this um this map look at this you all these are supposed to be all the ships on the sea. So it's it's really, really neat. Um whoopsie, we went to we went to the Gaza. I don't know what that one's doing right there. You I I I've just found it, so I don't really know how to navigate it. Uh, but I don't think I want this on there. What I wanted to do is um uh how did I find that? I found the layers. I didn't want that. Uh, yeah, I wanted the vessels. I wanted the ship type. So um, if we took out all these other ships, if we took out um, fishing, pleasure craft, navigation aids, unspecified ships, passenger vessels, and... Um, okay, so we got some cargo ships. Let's take out the tankers. So these are the cargo ships all around the world right here. They got all kinds of cargo on them, you all. And they're in green. Look at them. There's so many cargo ships. And, you know, if we were to, let's say we go to the, the port of Miami. Um, there's just a few. There's really just a lot of scragglers all over the place. A lot of scraggling ships. Look at that. Look how they go in a line right there. Uh, New Orleans. Look at that. Is that not neat? Have you ever seen that? And I guess they go like that. So they received three minutes ago. This is real time, you all. This is real time. Real time data. That's pretty cool, you all. If you haven't went there, you're going to go there because you're going to find that. I'll, I'll put that. It's called marinetraffic.com. It's pretty. It's really nice. So look at that. Three minutes ago, they received their cargo. Um, five minutes ago, 51 minutes ago, four minutes ago. Oh, they got to take their cargo to New Orleans. So this is this is really neat. Panama City. Um, so yeah, you can you can look at look at all of these going down the coast. Look, they've received the position. The satellite is tracking all these vessels. You all, look at that. Is that not amazing? Wow, that is really cool. So this is where all the um, cargo ships are. Look at the ocean over here. Look at the North Pacific. Look at all these cargo ships. Okay. 
It looks like a lot of cargo ships to me. I don't know about you. Hello there, old rider. Hello there, Susan B. Um, you all, thank you for joining. Thank you all for um, taking time out to watch this because this is pretty neat. It really is. Um, so this is, um, oh my gosh. Look at all of this, you all. Here we are. Uh oh. Look, we're in here, China. Look at all the ships all along China. They got all these cargo ships, you all. Oh my gosh, it's like a bottleneck. Three minutes to go, four minutes ago. Boom, look at all of them. It's a ton. It took you an hour. Oh my gosh, a rider. Oh, that is wild. Yeah, so this, this is all China. They got all kinds of uh, cargo ships going in there. I wonder what type they are. Let's look. If we can see. Mm, it even tells the name of it. This is the Spesti Spirit. The Kamnik. Um, the MCB. Look at all the ships. Okay, so... I don't think that they have any problem getting any cargo at all in China. I really don't. They're, it's literally, they're all over the place. Uh, and it's literally, well, look at that. Boom. Look at all of these ships. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I'm tracking UFOs, you all. I really do. <laughs> I feel like we're looking at UFO traffics, except we're not. We're looking at all these ships. All of these ships going in the waterways in China. And you may say, Gina, what type of ships are they? We're going to look. I'm going to show you what type of ships they are. These ships right here, uh, they're um, cargo. They are general cargo, bulk Carrier, container ships, railroad vehicle carriers, reefer, aggregates carrier, cement carrier, ore carrier, livestock carrier, OBO carrier, heavy load. Ah, oh, so what we need to do is we can, let's see, um, general cargo, bulk. I want to see if, if they're getting any beef. Let's see if they're getting any livestock. No, I, it doesn't give me the option. You, I can't do it. But this is this is what they're getting over there. If you can see that, this is really interesting. It really is. So um, let's shrink that map because they got they got uh, they got cargo coming in all over the place in China, a ton of it. Wow! Yay! Whoa! My gosh! Yeah, so look at this. So we got we got a lot, I think. But there's no way we've got as much. See, look at it. It's going from here to here. But there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. There's South Africa. You ain't getting very much. Look right here. This is just going only around it. Um, let's see what our... Sh this. Yes, this is, this is what we need to see. You all, this is... This is the map that we need to see. We need to see how many ships are all along the coast of the United States compared to China. That's what we need to see. In all the other countries, that's what we need to see. This is perfect. Perfect. So let's look at this. This is around the United States. Um, maybe if we zoom in, we'll get to see some more ships. No, not too many. Not too many right there. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Maybe we'll see some more. Nope. We're not seeing it, you all. This is an eye-opener, you all. If you've ever seen an eye-opener, I cannot believe what we're seeing. I really can't. There are not hardly any ships being received all along our borders. All along our borders. There's only a tad bit right here. Let's see where it's making its way. Um, only in this area. Right here. Let's shrink that down. Right there at Louisiana. 
This is how it is for us. No ships. No ships. None. A few right here. Only a few. Only a handful. That's it. Only a handful. But can you believe that? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check out the other countries. Um less um Let's look over here, you all. So, um, there's not too many, there's not too many, uh, ships going into port anywhere. It really isn't. You can see right here, there's hardly any going into ports all around these continents. Why not? Why you should see the supplies going into the countries. You should see the supply going into the country. Now, granted, it looks like they um, took a shortcut right there. Let's see which country. I want to know which country is Spain. You ain't getting any either. Doesn't look like Spain's getting any either. It's they're going to and fro. They're going to and fro, you all. They're going through the Mediterranean. You're not getting much in uh, England either. You're not. Doesn't look like a lot to me. It doesn't look like a lot to me at all. Uh, Germany, Germany, you're getting, you're getting, um, you got cargo in Germany, Germany. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are, you got, you got some cargo going into your country in the Netherlands and, um, and Germany, you've got some cargo making its way into where you're all at, not as much as China, not as much as China. You are, look like you're getting a little bit of cargo that's making its way in France. Only a tad, tad bit, you all. It's like, oh my gosh. Wow. What, what is that? Over here by Berlin. You all, I hope this is okay. Because this is really, um, Turkey. Let's see if you're getting any in Turkey and the other places. It's, it's flowing through. Where is it going? Wonder where it's going to go. I really, if it's going there, where is it going to go, you all? It travels through the Black Sea. Well, now, granted, you probably don't have um, big trucks uh, like they do uh, a lot of highways and stuff. This is... Um, India is um, a big country, and um, I don't see a bunch of food going into India either. I don't. Or Pakistan or Afghanistan. There's some going into Bangkok. You got a lot of them right there. Look at that. Oh, uh, well, we're going to look at the military ships, too. Look at this. Look at um, Ho Chi Minh City. They got cargo going in there. I think it's like the main... 
the main areas. Wow. Look at that, you all. Look how much cargo ships are going in there. Now, granted, I know we get we get a lot of goods and services from China, uh, but they receive a lot of goods and services from all over the world, you all. All over the world. Cargo vessel. See, we're keeping track. We are keeping track of everything. Of everything. The, my goodness, you all. I just... um. It's mind-boggling. It really is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. All the traffic in the world. It's flowing from... Yeah. What did we... Did, we didn't look at Australia. I don't think they're getting much... No, you ain't getting too much food in Australia either. You can see it right there. You ain't getting hardly any food either. Um, you got ships that are going. Look at the different ships. Boom. Yes, we've got some good uh, moderators. Absolutely, we do. You all okay? Now, now that you know, we've looked at. We've looked at those cargo ships. It could be any type of cargo. It could be any type of cargo. And um yeah, let's let's do this. So, um we want to come over here and um we want to come we want to come we want to we want to get rid of the cargo ships. Uh tankers. What type of tankers are they talking about? Oh, here we go. Oil products, crude oil, chemical bunkering. Water tanker, inland tanker, special tanker. Let's look at where who's getting the tankers. Okay, who is getting the tankers? Uh, well, this is this is our gas and stuff, you all. This is also that. This is also the gas that people get. There's not too much going right now. Now, granted, um, there's somebody's getting something there. Now, granted, um, it looks pretty cool. Look at that. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, I want to see if China has any going inland. Going inland. Nah, not too much over here. Not too much over here. That's, that's rather odd. It really is rather odd. Um... Hmm. It's really strange. You all, I hope this is all right because I was trying to sit in there and think what is going on because you got all these, you got these oil, the, all this uh, oil and all this kind of tankers. It's all right. I hope it's all right, you all, because this is, it, this is really important. We want to, we want to take out the tankers. Let's take the tankers out. Let's see the ships, just passenger ships. See, there's not very many passenger ships right here there isn't just a, a little bit a few passenger ships on here okay so we don't look and look at them high speed craft air high speed boats boats that are traveling really fast well that's interesting uh in the yellow so we don't need to look at that let's see um tugs and special craft let's let's see what the special craft is um pilot boat supply vessel a supply vessel could contain a food Patrol, landing craft, offshore platform, drill ship, icebreaker, firefighting, training ships, inland. The, shoot, if we could look at this military ops by itself, that would be pretty cool. But I, I don't think we can look at that military operations by itself. But let's look over here, see if anything's happening. Um... Now they just got a bunch of ships there. A whole bunch of ships still. Um, I 
not too much going on here at all. And you know what? If they didn't want these positions seen, they wouldn't. You wouldn't be seeing it on the satellite. You wouldn't at all. So um, they say the supply trains. Oh, what's this? What is all of this, you all? What are all of these? Now this is interesting, isn't it? Tugs and special craft. I don't know what L I Lild is, so this is pretty neat. Junior. Harbing, Mississippi, Southwest Pass, New Orleans, a dredge wheeler, Shell Beach. Oh, I didn't want to look at it. Well, oh, you can you can click on the boat. Um, you can click on all the boats. This is pretty cool. If you if you don't got much um, things you want to research, you could research this if it was up if you like to. Boom. So these are just the smaller ships, you all. But there's a lot of them. They're going all over the waterways. Look at that. Boom. Just all up through there. Look at all that waterways. I am about located. Let me show you. Here's Here I am right here. Boom. Salem, Indiana. That's where I'm at. Right there. That little dot. Um, so I'm this far. There's the river. And I'm boom right there. If anyone ever wondered where I'm at. Where does it say Salem? Arg. Now I've, I've messed it all up. Where am I at? Um. Oh, I'm right there. It's a little bitty dot. Oh, you're at Salem, Oregon. That's really interesting, you all. It is. It's a... Uh, it's a lot to look at. Let's look over here one more time. If you're just tuning in, I just wanted to see what type of uh, ships were out there. I really did. And um, it's pretty interesting. Oh, let's go back to this um, map. This is an unspecified ship uh, in the gray. I think I've put me up. I put it on here so we can look at it. Unspecified ships whatever they would be. Seems to be a lot of them. They're unspecified. So they don't they don't tell what type they are at all. Um yes, I'm still here. I'm trying to find um Now, of course, um, oh, say we got, look at all of these ships over here. Oh, my gosh. That's a ton of ships. It really is a ton of ships. You can look at all the names. Boom. So they, um, it's so many, so many ships. Look, these all look about the same. There's the Taiwan Strait. That's a big cluster. It's a, it's a really big cluster of ships. I guess if I subscribed to this, you can subscribe to this um, website, I think. I don't think I want to. I would want to see the, I'd want to know about the fleet. So, I think you have to, I bet they want a whole bunch of money. Group the vessels that matter to you in a live map. I don't, I don't think I want to pay for this. I really don't. I just want to look at this. Is what I wanted to do. Just look at it. So you can't really see it. Like this whole entire island is surrounded right here. And then some. So we're just going to pull this back out. And um, there. There's all the shipping stuff from all around the world. Uh, bang, bang, muck -a bang Are our moderators having a, a, a field day? <laughs> Are you all having a field day on here? Let me Let me look. Y'all having to take people out? 
Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, pay attention to the volcanoes. Well, is, there's not much happening right now on the um, La Palma at all. There really isn't. <laughs> oh, I love it. Susan B. TV. That's absolutely wonderful. It really is, you all. It is so wonderful. Yeah. Who else wants to share um, cargo positions and ship positions on the seas and the waters? I think it's a wonderful subject, a wonderful topic. I really do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yes, you can, you can, um, you can go to the Dollar Tree. You can get some stuff pretty cheap. You really can. Yes. Um, oh, my goodness. King is the best shot tonight. <laughs> you know, it's too bad I can't see what you all look like in real person. That'd be neat if we all had a picture of ourselves, a live video thing of us setting here. It'd be funny. <laughs> I think it'd be nice. It really would be. Yeah. That's right, Shannon. It's a bang, bang, muck a bang, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Prices are definitely going to skyrocket because look at this. This is a warning from executives at Wok Wong Maritime Transport. Um, they caution the contrasting approaches to containing the, we're not going to say, will disrupt the turnover and repatriation of seafarers landing at ports around the world. Well, we do know that there are, a, there is a lot of traffic. Um... Over here, a ton of traffic over here. We know that. A ton of it. An absolute ton of... Look how congested the traffic is over here, you all. It's so much. So much traffic. That, that's that's literally it's mind boggling it's all mind boggling wow I'm going to shrink that down you all it's pretty it is pretty neat it's like um, veins uh, boom going everywhere um Boom. Now see there's there's traffic going through here. Look how crowded that is, you all. That is so crowded in this area in the Persian Gulf. The Gulf of Oman. I thought it I thought it was um where's the Gulf of Aden? Where's I thought the Gulf of Aden is around there. That's what I thought. This was like the Gulf of Aden right there. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can do a um, search. You really can. Even if you, um, if you look here, if you want to do this, if you do the past day, these are all the um, articles from the past day. Shortages and shipping woes and staffing. You shop, it ships. Um, the delays aren't getting any better. Look, bottlenecks. Uh-oh, that's it. You can't, you're, we're not supposed to read about the bottlenecks that, um, could last well into 2022. Um, disruptions may be the new normal for at least, look at this, you all, I want you to see this. They won't let me click into this article right here in the center. Um, shipping bottlenecks could last well into 2022. Why that long-term short, short supply chain disruptions may be the new normal 
Oh, we got a new normal for at least the next 6 to 12 months. And this will cause logistic companies all sorts of headaches, but it could end up being very something. So, yeah. Um, look, we got FedEx, uh, Face the Nation, all of it. They're not going to get any better. Um, Christmas will be safe. Why? Why will it be safe? So, um, yeah, I think that's that's enough looking at those supply chains. I really do think it's enough because um, we all know that when we go to the grocery store or somewhere else, sometimes we can't find what we want. And if we do find something that we want, we don't get to get as much of it as we want. Okay, you may find yourself finding that you only get two cans of canned goods or it's limited to four of whatever type of product that it is. Uh, and they say it's going to last for probably around 12 months. Um, it, it will get worse as uh, certain things kick in come December and then um, come January. Yeah, and I think, um, what can you do? Nothing. You can prepare. You can and keep your rate prepare enough be aware enough to prepare that's what you can do um i don't know how long i've been on here oh it probably will be longer than that because if you listen to the what was that the food chain reaction game do we want to go look at the food chain reaction game and all of the scenarios that popped up into it along with the timeline um I think we might want to do that since we're talking on it, the food chain reaction game. We most certainly do want to talk about it. Let me, let me see if I can look behind my hands, get this microphone out of my way. Food chain reaction game. You all did, what am, what am I doing? Am I on just me? Uh, yeah, let, let me do this. Hello there, Pollyann. You all, I can't, I can't do this. I just want to just do any time. We're going to find it, you all. We're going to go straight to it. Um, you all, I don't know what's going on with my uh, cell phone. Maybe I need to refresh it in order to um, see these comments on here. You just hold on one moment. Oh, no. Um... I'm trying to, um, okay, I see where we're at. Okay, it's all good, you all. It is all good for those who may not know about the, the food chain reaction game. We are right here. Food chain reaction day game, right here. I want to go to, um, well, we'll go to Cargill because they're the one who sponsored it, the sustainability and it's pretty interesting. It's like a Monopoly game. Um, but they called it the Food Chain Reaction Game, if they'll let us watch it. And um, that's what it's like, a, a Monopoly game. We just got to sit and wait for it to come on here. Okay, it's on here. So, um, the Continental Africa Room. Oh, my goodness. This was in 2033. Or 20, 2003, not 2033. So the food chain reaction crisis simulation ended with a global carbon tax. Now, we've been hearing a lot about a carbon footprint and a carbon tax, and we need to stop you-know-what. Well, they, they played a monopoly game, and it was the food chain reaction game. They just calls it a different one. So they had to deal with climate hunger, civil unrest, and spiking food prices, and they came together at the food chain reaction game in Washington, D.C. Now, look at this is when it happened. You all look at this. So during on November the 12th of 2015, 65 international policymakers, academics, businesses and thought leaders gathered at the World Wildlife Fund headquarters. Well, why do they want to go to the fund headquarters? OK, in Washington to game out how the world will respond to a future world crisis. This is, this is really important. 
Okay, you all, this is really important. If you haven't heard about this yet, this is really important because this is happening. Okay, they played the game. They played their Monopoly game, and uh, they role-played. They role-played, and they had all these scenarios, and they had time frames. Okay, we're going to look at this, you all. So, um, the game took the players from the year 2020. So, that was, a, that was the beginning of a new presidency for us and probably other presidents, uh, other countries, 2020 to 2030. And the decade brought two major food crises, two major food crises, crisis. You all can't say it. With prices approaching, they're, they're messing up me and my, <laughs> my speech. I can't talk. <laughs> This is serious, you all. I need to quit giggling. So look at this. The food prices will be approaching 400% of the long-term average, a raft of climate-related extreme weather events. So this is what you're coming. You get extreme weather events, uh, food prices approaching 400%, governments being toppled in Pakistan and Ukraine, and famine and refugee crisis in Bangladesh, Myanmar, Chad, and Sudan. Look at this. So, um, look, they had the Center for Naval Analysis. Cargill was the food chain reaction organizer. These were the food checking food. You all, I can't talk. Just don't, don't listen. I'll, I'll get it together. So they can't tell the number of the discussions where people came up to them and asked from other parts of the world, saying how they appreciate So look at this, unattended consequences, look. Over the two days, the players divided into teams for Africa, Brazil, China, Europe, India, and the U.S. Uh, all of them, look at that, you all. So this is really neat. Um, they learned that a carbon tax is possible in years ahead. Um, so they got, a, they got a carbon tax. So look at this, you all. Where, where, where was that game? I know that game was in here somewhere. Um, let, let's find out where that game was. Because I wanted to get to it. Because it was like literally um, put put out. So we're going to look at this you all. I, I, I really wish I could find it. I, I saved it before. But I, I can't seem to find it now. But it was really, um, mm, I just don't like it. Well, the game helped them understand the future of food. Okay, that's what it did. By 2030, uh, a coup happened in Pakistan, and there was flooding in Bangladesh. And the world's farmers were breaking under the pressure of commodity prices. And food supplies could not be relied on anymore. Yeah. So, um, look, they had to take that video down. They had to take it down, you all. Um, it was real world role playing is what it was. It covered a 10 year, look at this. It covered a 10 year period and they had to manage flooding, coops, shortages, and all that, you all. This is what they had to do. Waiting for a crisis is not a plan. And then, of course, we had this, and it turned up the heat, and then all of that. So, yeah, I'd like to learn more about it. Um, we wanted to see what you all found out, you all, is what we wanted to do, because uh, it was really um, it was really interesting, and you can go there and look at that. Look, building new information sharing systems. It was, it was, um... It was uh, really interesting. I wanted to get to the one part, you all, because they literally broke it down. They broke it down to what they um, found out. But I'm not going to find it in this. So I guess it's not meant, but they had played the game. They played the game, you all, is what they did. They played this game, and um, a lot of things happened because of it. And uh, during that game, food prices did shoot up to 400%. Uh, some, uh, they went a tad bit past 400%, and I think it lasted into 2024, and then it kind of came back down a little bit. 
to maybe 300 or 200 percent. Um, but still, the pri the crisis were there. It would, they were all there. And in the meantime, you know, we got this this going on, and we got shipping shortages. We've got it all going on. So um, you can do your research, and you can, if you if you search really good with certain keywords, you can. But I'm gonna put my arm down. You can find out the results of that food chain reaction day game because it was in different stages is what it was and the stages were broken down for the years uh, in different years that's that's what they did and all the things they faced during that game because I'm pretty sure that they will probably happen and they are happening yeah um, so let me turn myself right here you I think I probably done talk too much I had a neighbor um, God rest her soul. She's she's since passed. She was a little old lady down the road. And um, yeah, I remember her telling me, I've done said too much. <laughs> and I just laughed because she loved to talk. She loved to talk, but she was a precious little lady. Loved her. Yeah. Um, you all, I am going to go. Um, so you can, you can track... Um, you know what I can do? I'll tell you what I can do. I want to put that. I want to put that on here. I'm going to copy and paste this page right here. I'm going to copy and paste the link to this page, and I'm going to see if I can put it into the live stream. Is what I'm going to do. See if we can put this in the live stream for you all. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it right now. I got to push play. Boom! Look, we had a great big drop. It went from 131. What happened, you all? Did they drop the communication? There was a great, great big drop of viewers at that time. Oh, now they fixed it. Oh, that was really weird. Was that not weird? Um, did you did you all get that? You have seeds to going to make a greenhouse. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, it is. Oh, you're so very welcome, Wayne. Yeah, I, I like to get on here at night, and I just don't know what I'm going to do at times, but I just I find something, even if I just have to sit and talk or sing or dance. We'll find something. You know, I went back down again. That's really, it. this is, this is weird. They're dropping that, um, you want to look at that spike that happened. They drop it down. It, it went from 272, and then they dropped it down to 125, and then it it does that. Yeah. Now look, they hit it again. Um, that's okay. You want to make a greenhouse, Sagori? Oh, uh, a family of raccoons. Oh, uh, raccoons are so cute. But you know what? They would get into our apple trees and they would knock the apples down. Uh, they get into, if we want to feed the birds, uh, they um, get the food uh, and the birds can't get it. So you got to make your stuff raccoon proof. And who, you don't want to go shooting the raccoons. Yeah. Uh, you are so very, very welcome. Yeah. And you all, thank you for going over to... Um, Saga Ori's um, page and her channel and seeing her video that she did. And, you know, you we don't have to agree with everything everyone shares. We don't. Of course, we're all different. But that's okay. We can be respectful and we can appreciate the things that we have in common. We absolutely can, you all. We can appreciate the things that we have in common. And we can be respectful while doing it. That's right. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Susan, skunks are cute. I remember when I was riding on my motorcycle one day. I went down this country road. And then um, there was this mother. There was this mama skunk. And there was like four little bitty baby skunks. They were four little baby skunks. They were in a ditch. And they were climbing out of the ditch. Um, is what they were doing. Climbing out of the ditch. And then they, they walked across the road to go up and to the other side of the ditch. They were so cute, but I didn't want to get near them. They were really cute. Yeah, their colors were. Um, yes. Well, I am going to go, you all. We don't need to talk about skunks. 
we don't, but they, they are the cute if you like to watch animals. Yes. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, did they did they freeze me? No, they didn't freeze me. Uh, yeah. So, so um, yeah, you saw the link to this uh, marine traffic. It, it's pretty cool to look at. It is. So, thank you all for taking time out of your evening. It, I like and I really enjoy spending time with you all. Even though we can't see each other face to face, it's, it's wonderful to connect in the chat. Uh, and to feel your all's presence, because I'm sure you can feel my presence. I can feel your presence. Uh, it is felt in the spiritual realm. And it's wonderful. I really, I, I can't say it enough. I'm so thankful for us having the opportunity to connect like this over social media. I'm very thankful because not everybody um, has this opportunity. They don't um, to come together as a great big group of people. And it's wonderful. It really is. Um, so um, I am going to go, you all. I'm not going to get emotional on you. I'm not. I could, but I won't. I won't get emotional on you. Thank you, moderators, for everything you do. And thank you all for making it a, a wonderful, peaceful um, viewing experience, a peaceful chat room. It's, it's perfect. Love it. Um, so with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful wonderful rest of your evening. I gotta find that button.